Well, God bless you guys. It has been a while. Um, it has been about four days, uh, actually, since I've been up here with a video. Um, it has been an interesting week uh, for me as far as what I've been doing. Um, I have really been uh, in my war room, uh, so to speak. I've spent a lot of time this week, and there were times I was going to come up and do some videos and give you guys some news updates and stuff like that. But you know what? I really felt uh, my spirit led to pray this week. And I'm talking pray, guys. I mean, I have spent um, countless hours uh, this week really praying. And I'm talking about praying in the Holy Ghost um, and really inviting the presence of God to invade me in all things. Uh, those of you that remember, I did a video um, a few weeks ago uh, where I talked about my health and needing a miracle um, that I suffered. I, I suffer from glaucoma. There's some new subscribers I know now that may not have seen that video or know, uh, but a brief, brief synopsis. I was diagnosed with glaucoma seven years ago, um, and I am no longer able to drive. Uh, there are many things that I'm no longer able to do, and pretty much day-to-day -day life um, is you know, a large struggle. Um, to do many of the basic things that so many others can just do so easily. Um, but I'm really believing and I ask people to pray for me uh, and thank you guys for that and please continue to do so. Um, as far as have I noticed any improvements, I have not. Um, but I, I'll tell you what, I have been fervently praying. I'm talking aggressively rebuking the devil, praying in the Holy Ghost, doing everything I can because I truly believe this is my year for a miracle. I mean, I'm longing for the day um, that I get to get up here and do a video for you guys on the testimony um, that I received my sight back again. Uh, I am longing for that day. I mean, guys, I have the, the, the power of God, the Holy Spirit has hit me this week. I, I have cried uh, during my times praying. I have laughed. I mean, I'm talking about like Holy Ghost laughter. I mean, just out of nowhere it's unlike anything i mean some of you may have experienced that before maybe some of you haven't uh, but it is truly um something from god there's just no other way to describe it um, when he brings that to you um so that's kind of what's been going on i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a health um update i'm going to continue uh to stay in prayer this is something this is a victory i believe that i'm going to be winning very soon um, you know, I got very complacent um, in my life and you just kind of get used to like, well, this is just kind of how it is. And if God wants to heal me, he'll heal me. Um, and then, you know, it gets frustrating when you pray and you don't see results. And then you just want to stop because you think that maybe God is just not going to do it. And even though as much as I've prayed this week um, and as many of you have been doing for me, I have not seen any improvements. Um, now, in the past, that would have probably derailed me and caused me just to kind of just give up. And say that, well, you know what, he only wants to heal certain people, uh, but he just doesn't want to do it for me for some reason. But, um, uh, you know, we know that's not the case. So now it's about staying consistent um, and refusing to give up. And it, it is so hard because, you know, the Bible says, you know, you walk by faith and not by sight. That faith is the evidence of those things that are hoped for uh, and those things not yet seen. And so much of that has to do with, you know, vision, sight, you know. Uh, and that, I mean, really, it's funny because that's my issue is my vision and my sight. And, um, you know, everything I do throughout the course of my day uh, in, in some regards, other than when I'm sleeping, uh, is with my vision. So it's not like a nagging elbow injury or something like that to where you can just kind of just ignore it. Uh, it's hard to ignore it when you have a sight problem. So um, and also something that's also incurable by doctors. So my only option is God. That is the only option that I really have in this fight. Um, so it is a battle. I mean, guys, I, I, I can't tell you. Uh, there are certain times during the day I just break down um, and, I, and I just cry. There are times when fear tries to creep in. Um, it has probably been the most emotional, trying week of my life. Crying. The, the moments where I've been laughing in the Holy Spirit have probably been the best because um, there's a sense of freedom in that when um, he comes upon you. And at that moment, you feel everything is going to be okay. Uh, I've also had dreams, um, well, one in particular, um, where I was actually able to see again. It actually just came um, yesterday afternoon um, as I was just laying down and, um, you know, taking a nap. And it came then to me. Um, so these are things that, that, are, that are seeing in the spirit, you know, dreams, visions. Um, now I'm just waiting on them to, to, you know, manifest themselves in my life. 
Um, and it's such a bigger thing. I, I, I know it's bigger than me because uh, I know that God is truly going to use this. Uh, it, it's not just to heal me and make me whole, uh, but to bring others uh, into his kingdom as well. They're going to see, here's this guy who's been deemed incurable by doctors. He's got glaucoma. He's losing his sight. And, you know, there's no way to bring it back. And then all of a sudden he gets it back and his optic nerves are healed. And, you know, I, that's which is what glaucoma, it, it, it attacks and kills the optic nerves. And there's nothing right now that can regrow those optic nerves. Um, so they just kind of lay dead. Um, so to restore vision like that, to have full vision once again, uh, would be a true miracle. And, and just imagine the people that would want to flock to God when they see that. I mean, I saw myself in times of prayer, you know, going to churches and ministering to people and sharing my story, sharing my testimony. Um, others, you know, flocking to want to know God, to accept salvation. Um, these are all things that I've seen um, while in prayer. Haven't manifested yet, uh, but I've seen them. Uh, and me, you know, just praying for people, praying for the sick uh, and having them recover. Um, so, yeah, it, it's been an interesting week. I just wanted to share that with you guys, give that help, health update. Uh, continue to pray for me. Um, you know, sometimes when you pray, sometimes you, you notice things just don't, don't happen. Um, but let's keep going with it. I can't thank you guys enough for sticking by me here. And I'm truly amazed too. And I want to thank the new subscribers because, you know, I thought, you know, and it's like I said, it's been a, it's been a crazy rough emotional week for me. Um, but you know what? My channel has grown. I have seen new subscribers. I hadn't even done a video in like four days, which probably hasn't happened since I started doing this, you know, in the middle of 2016. Uh, but just continued growth despite it. So I'm very blessed that God is continuing. People are still flocking to the channel um, to want to be saved and hear what's going on in the world. Uh, and that makes me happy because I was worried, you know, that some people may not want to go. Oh, he just disappeared or whatever. But thank you guys for sticking with me. You know, if you ever see a time where I'm kind of dormant or, or I, maybe I don't put up a whole lot of videos or, or whatever, just know that it's because I'm probably in prayer um, and I'm probably really just seeking the Lord. This is a, a, a time in my life where I feel that um, I am on the brink of a breakthrough and um, I am really trying to intercede probably more than uh, uh, I ever have before. It is by far, uh, by far the most difficult thing uh, that I have ever had to face in my life and probably will be the most difficult thing I'll ever have to face um, in my life. So, uh, again, thank you guys again so much. Apologize for getting a little emotional. It's a struggle at times. It really is. Um, we're going to keep going forward um, with the grace of God and trust that he is uh, in control. So thank you guys again so much. As always, uh, if you've never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I can't stress enough to you what a great gift that is and um, how it can change your life. If that's you and uh, you'd like to receive salvation, if you'd like to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior today, please let me know. Simply leave me a comment below. Uh, let me know you would like to invite Christ into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. You can also email me at cardsfan480 at gmail.com and I'll put that email in the description for you guys to access. All right, guys. Again, I thank you guys so much. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there and don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you and I'll talk with you soon.